My name is Kevin Farley, and this is my story. I almost died last summer. One minute, I was downtown on a beautiful August night, getting ready to watch the second half of a professional soccer doubleheader with my wife Dawn and my friend's daughters. And the next minute, I felt a pain in my chest, unlike any other I've ever felt before, like a heavy animal with a hoof was just standing on me. I told my wife what was going on and went to the first aid center immediately. And 10 minutes later, I was in an ambulance on the way to Norton downtown. The next few hours in the emergency room had a lot of tension and uncertainty. But around midnight, they finally figured out that I had had an aortic aneurysm. Things really shifted into high gear at that point. A nine hour life-saving surgery was to follow where they replaced my aortic root with a synthetic one, as well as put in a mechanical aortic valve. There are many statistics that I can share with you about aortic aneurysms, but in summary, a very small percentage of people even make it to the hospital. Of that very small percentage, a small percentage make it through the surgery, and of that small percentage, only a small percentage make it out of the hospital without complications or without permanent limitations. But God. When you look at a small percentage of a small percentage of a small percentage enough times, it becomes undeniable to me and to my family that it's a miracle that I'm still alive. But God's blueprint, that's the amazing part of the story um, that I'm uh, just in awe of when I look back at it. When he brought Dawn into my life, God knew that he was showing me a life partner that not only had what it takes to get through a situation like this, but also has the knowledge and experience from working in healthcare to navigate the complicated waters of a long recovery and to advocate on my behalf when I wasn't able to. God knew when he spoke it into my heart and Dawn's heart that we should sell our house in Virginia and move to Louisville to be a part of launching this church that that move included moving to a city with a world-class surgeon and surgical team that would save my life. God even knew that the outcome of the situation could have been drastically different if my aneurysm had occurred where we live, out in Mount Washington, instead of at Lynn Family Stadium, less than five minutes from Norton Downtown Hospital. God knew about the small army of people that he put in our lives to help us get through this. Some of them lifelong friends, and some of them complete strangers and everywhere on the spectrum in between. There were people that covered our situation in prayer, thousands of dollars in financial blessings that helped with short-term needs like meals, extra fuel for Dawn to make dozens of trips back and forth to the hospital, a team of young ladies from this church that worked together unselfishly and tirelessly to help take care of our dogs at home, allowing Dawn to spend nights and days with me in the hospital and people who just came and sat with me in a dark, uninspiring ICU room so that I wouldn't be alone and so Dawn could take a break and go home and rest and shower and eat a meal that didn't come from a drive through window. God knew how long it was going to take for me to recover and that I wouldn't be able to work, so he blessed us with a generous sign-on bonus for her to recommit to her company as well as a decent hourly increase. Those two together more than made up for me not being able to work. Not only that, but we were able to pay off not one, but two vehicles during the last 15 months. And we have more margin and we live with more savings in the previous, than our previous 10 years as a two income household. He provides. Now I want you all to know, I want you all to know, and I want you all to understand that just because God does an unbelievable work in your life, doesn't mean that the enemy won't stick to his plan to steal and kill and destroy. We've been through a successful rehab and recovery season and I'm doing great and I feel great, but we've also dealt with the loss of a family member, uncertainty with the future of my wife's employment and all the other things that just kind of come up in life sometimes. But I'm also here to tell you today that blessings come on the other side of obedience. Our human nature wants it the other way, but I promise you that God is sovereign, He is in control, and He wants nothing more than to be in relationship with you. 
my journey would not be complete without God in control. And I know that your journey would be infinitely better with him in it.